Mm -hmm. Making that move toward the top of the third and Cornbloom getting started for the power on the hill. And again, Hawks back at the plate. Fouls it back on this foul tip. So Hawk stands in with a 1-1 as we work along in the top of the third inning. Northern Guilford, home of the Prolific Powers, summer league team. It's a showcase team and a Palomino team playing some collegiate teams. This one, again, got around late, did the young man Hawks. Stands in with a 1-2. Again, Davis would follow, then up to the top of the order, Baker do up. Again, Hawks was at the plate last inning when the power took care of the runner, Wolf, for the third out of the inning. Caught him going for first to second. Here's a check at the plate by Hawks, who looks it over. Can't even have a 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two on Hawks as Davis stands on deck, and then Baker do up for the Anglers. On this GreensboroSports.com game of the week at it, Northern Guilford with the prolific power. Coached by Justin Smith, his dad Johnny the assistant, also Bob Sublett and Jeff Wilson. Ball on the ground, foul ball, first base side. Count stays even at 2-2. So working along with a 2-2 count on Hawks. Also moving in that direction here in the top of the third inning. Tight ball game, 1-0. Swing and a miss, and... The throw down to first base by a swim just to completely effectively take care of that strikeout. So down goes Hawks and another strikeout here for Zach Kornblum. For Zach today, that's his third strikeout of the day to go with the one walk. Bottom of the order, Trey Davis due up next. First pitch to Davis misses the 1-0. A windy, windy day here. A lot of sunshine, a lot of wind. Cloud cover earlier during the day. Then it broke loose, got the sun out, and the wind continues to work. This pitch misses. Working right now at the plate. As Davis stands in. This ball hit out toward the left. Going to drop in a base hit toward left center. Headed towards second base. It's going to be Davis. He'll be there with a stand-up double. So Davis on board, back to the top of the order. Baker due up next to one nothing lead so far by the Anglers, trying to add to it with a man gone in the inning and a man on its second in the top of the third. Zach Kornbloom on the hill. He's giving up that one run. That one run probably should have been out at second base on the throw over. Tight ball game. Again, Kornbloom trying to tighten the screws up a little bit here as he faces off with the man at the top of the order. A swing and a miss there in the 0-1 as Baker stands in. Again, the 0-1 on Elijah Baker struck out his first time up here in the ballgame. Next pitch misses a tad low, pretty close. One and one, the count. One and one on Baker. Again, Bernard on deck. Cornbloom's pitch. Beautiful strike pitch. Fastball to the plate. One and two, the count on Baker. In a one-run ball game, one nothing. The anglers with the lead with a runner at second base and a man gone in the inning. This ball head out towards center, base hit, runner at second, headed toward third. He'll hold right there. So a single by Baker. And then Bernard do up next. So runner at second, Davis moves to third. And Baker's at first base with the single. Now two men on for the Anglers. And Zach Bernard up next, flat out to right field, his first time up in the ball game. So we're in the top of the third with a couple of base runners, a threat out there right now for the Anglers. With a 1-0 lead and a man gone as Bernard stands in. First pitch to him. Will miss from Cornbloom. So the 1-0 on Bernard. Breezy day here at Northern Guilford. The 1-0 pitch and Cornbloom delivers. Got a tip, foul tip. It's 1-1. One 1-1 and one. One and one on Bernard. Looking at that Colors Convenience Store, the old store out there in uh, right field, the Gunner's Convenience Store. Again at the plate, the pitch in the air toward right. And can't handle, runner at third will be in to score. Runner first heads towards second. 
So out toward right field, another run on the board. Again, Donaldson can't handle completely out in right. And again, we stand in, and one man gone. And a couple of runners on for the Anglers. Now a 2 nothing ball game. Simmons, go throw. This ball chopped to third base, though over to first base to get the runner there. Both runners advance to second and third. That's out number two on the ground out. And the Anglers takes care of Penny for the Anglers. Getting over to third base goes Baker at second base, Bernard. And at the plate, Max Gagnon do up next to catcher to stand in. So Gagnon at the plate with a couple runners in scoring position, second and third. One run in already, a 2 nothing ball game with the Anglers, the lead, top of the third. First pitch in the dirt, good block by Alex Swim behind the plate, the 1-0 now on Max Gagnon. His first time up, he struck out looking, and it was back in the second. Again, the angler is active in this inning. Time is called as Gagnon steps out. He'll step back in with a 1-0. Here's the corn bloom pitch on the ground at short glove. Got a step and throw to first base. Walls throw over, and they'll get him. Good job by Mike Wall at shortstop. Inning will close out on the ground out going six to three in the inning for the Anglers. Going to get that one run. That one run is going to come in on three hits. Again, no errors. And again, a couple of men left on base. Going to make that move toward the bottom of the third. It's a two-nothing ball game. Two-nothing. The Anglers in front over the prolific power. You're on the GreensboroSports.com. Game of the week.